I mean, can it possibly? I, I know we always realize it can get worse. But right now, from a baseball standpoint, I don't know what else can happen. The Mets have to sort through, and quickly, this Bernazard thing. I don't know how they come out the other side of the Bernazard thing without something happening. I don't know how they are going to stand up, stare into a bank of cameras, and say, we've made our decision, and Bernazard is with us, and he's one of us, and he's staying going forward, especially after everything that has been disclosed in the last couple of days, including, as we told you yesterday, his uh, argument with K-Rod, which now has been confirmed by uh, even K-Rod. And uh, he also, as you heard from Eddie C. yesterday, had a little bit of a squabble with Santana, among others. And now you get out of the Met team. Again, I don't like unnamed sources, okay? You don't like that. No one likes it. You know what? Be man enough to say you don't like the guy. Be man enough to say the guy's crazy. Be man enough to say the guy is, a you know, whatever you want to say about him. Say it. Put your name on it. Say, hey, listen, I don't like this guy. Here's the problem. Bing, 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 bing. You're a big league player. You have some standing with the team, I would think. Hey, you know, stand up and say it. No, 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 off the record stuff. Say, listen, I don't like this guy in my locker room. Case closed. Clearly that is the case. And I don't see how he survives. The question is this. If you think this is just an Omar Manaya decision, think again. Because clearly, from everything I understand, Bernazard has a very good relationship with the owner. So if it's not just where Omar, and I think Omar has been, and I can tell you from my conversations, Omar has always been enormously protective. Conversations I've had with Omar on the air and off the air, Omar has been always enormously overly protective, to a fault, overly protective of Bernazard. So that is Omar's stance, and it's been that way from the beginning. So Omar's going to have to do an about-face, which I think he needs to do. Now, the question is, does that get it done? Because Bernazard clearly, it's no secret that he is always around the owners, especially Jeff, that he's, you know, hang, you know, that he's always there. He's there. He's there a lot. People see him. He's always by the owner's side. He's, it's not like the owner doesn't have a relationship with him. So the question is, do the Mets ownership and general manager, do they now jettison what has become a lot of excess baggage and an extra headache at a time where they don't need headaches, at a time where they really don't need anything except, you know what, a couple of home runs. They don't need another mess, and they have one right now with this guy. And you got guys attacking him. you got Bill Madden attacking him, and Billy Madden, who's attacking him, probably for Willie Randolph. That's fine. Bill's allowed to have in a position. He's allowed to have a long relationship with Willie Randolph, which he clearly has, and that's fine. We can't expect Willie Randolph to love Bernazard. He got him fired. I mean, so you know, if you're Willie Randolph, you can't stand Bernazard. So we all know that. We understand the guys who the Mets have jettisoned in recent years, whether it's Phillips, Duquette, Randolph, they're, if Peterson, they're all going to attack the organization. You'd attack the organization, too, if they fired you. So that's, that's, that's human nature. We understand that. What you have to do is separate what's real and what is just politicking and what is just trying to do some damage. What is real stuff? Clearly, there's a lot of real stuff here. I mean, the fact that he is doing what he's doing, the fact that he is undressing guys in the stands, the fact that he's doing what he's doing with the teams, the fact that he's run, having run-ins with his players, the fact that he's had run-ins with managers, we all know this stuff is true. We've all heard a thousand burners art stories. I've heard another hundred on top of the ones I've already talked to you about. It's time for him to go. The question is, does he go? And if he doesn't, he's going to make the Mets look even worse than they look right now. The Mets need to look like they have a clue now. To this town right now, the Mets, and to their fan base. And that's what we're talking about here. How they are perceived by we, the media, who are kind of the conduit, and how they are perceived by the fan base. And essentially, the most important part is how they are perceived by their customers because they're in a business. He made it very easy for his enemies to get him. He was the reason. It's not them. They're not getting him. He got himself. The fact that he's pulling the stunts he's pulling, 
even over the last couple of weeks and exerting the kind of, you know, trying to exert the kind of authority that he thinks he has and acting the way he's acting and then bring in your star players. Well, he has, without question, overstepped his bounds and outlived his usefulness. It's not like, you know, if what you're going to lose here is a guy whose job is player development, well, huh, you know what? Somebody can do as good a job, if not better. It's not like he's lighting it up in that area. It's not like he's responsible for, you know, hey, this guy's got a magic toss. We can't get rid of him. He, look at all the players he's brought in. Well, where are they? Your cash brought in most of them. The ones who were here were either homegrown years ago, right, and Reyes, or they were brought in on a big dollar ticket. Beltran, K-Rod, Santana, Delgado. Big dollar tickets. Big outlays. They didn't come here because somebody uncovered them. They came here for Big Green. That's what they came here for. So, you know, a couple of them were found long before Bernazard. That's right, and Reyes. The other guys came because the cash was right and because the Mets could afford them. So the idea that there's any reason to keep this guy, the more important thing is for this Met franchise to show that they are on stable ground right now going forward.